Next in the den, a cabinet maker from Toronto who says his invention will revolutionize kitchen garbage disposal. Hello, Dragons. My name is Aaron Verolin. I'm from Toronto. The name of my company is AV Practical Solutions, and I'm here to ask for 775000 in return of 33% of my company. 775000 that's a big valuation, Aaron. I know. The product is very big. Let's okay, see. Okay, Aaron, start selling. You've got a long upward hill here. Okay. Uh, can I ask you, uh, Lynn, to join me in the kitchen <laughs> before we start the business to do some demonstration? I love the kitchen. First time in the kitchen? Why am I always the one in the kitchen, you guys? Because you are unique. <laughs> because I'm unique. Yes, that's, you are. That's a good answer. That's a nice answer. Aaron has spent six years developing a garbage system that pulls out from under the sink. You look good in an apron to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> get to work. Okay, yes. now take this garbage. Yes. Now, would you like to have the garbage can under your hands? Yes. Okay. Aaron says his invention is better than other pull-out systems because customers can install it themselves. Now pull it out. Oh, oh, perfect. Now kick it in. That's it. Close the door. My work is done. Thank you very much. That's actually pretty nifty. Okay, so Aaron, do you want me to tear you to pieces now or should yes, I wait? Yes, sure. Throw whatever you want, and I will answer any, any okay, question. Okay, so you have. why would I give you seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for okay. that? Okay, for me to start making the first piece. Start. Uh -oh. The first piece. You don't have no. any sales. I, no sales. Are you out oh. of your mind? <laughs> Are you, I, I, Aaron? I, I don't have any sales right now because to make the first piece, I need half a million dollars to make the molds and to prepare everything for the sales. So we don't even know if anybody will buy it. Aaron, can I tell you something right now? I have that in my house right now. Oh, OK. There's like somebody already manufacturing them doing No, that. they're not, because I patented. And if there was well, somebody, it would be shown on the patent uh, office. Hey, Aaron, you have to remember, a lot of people could be making it, and they didn't bother patenting it. And so that doesn't mean it's not out there just because there's not a patent. Yes, but to make Wait, it isn't, today. Isn't this a custom job, though? Like, I mean, yes, it is. Cabinets come in different sizes, no. right? No, cabinets are Sta standard. Oh, so this is applies to the standard one. Yes, standard cabinet. Sink cabinet is standard. They're not standard. all the same size, trust me. It's standard. All right. There is difference in cabinets. You can't take this and just jam it into everywhere. Let me interrupt. <laughs> when I built my first one, my son came to visit. He lives in New York. And I built a few of them. It was with pop rivets and screws yeah. and metal yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, arms and everything. I gave him once and I said, here, take it, put it in your case. He said, oh, dad, leave me alone, you and your invention. I said, okay, just take it. This is a gift from me. So he took it. Three months later, he calls me and he said, dad, you won't believe it. He said, Aaron fell in love with it because she pulls it out. She throws the garbage, is standing just beside her and she just kick it in and that's it. So that's why I got the idea, pull me out, kick me in. And he said, Dad, you know what? I surfed the internet, said I couldn't find anything similar to that anywhere in the world. How much have you spent on this, Aaron? Uh, so far, it's close to $100,000. Oh, 100000 Yes. Where did you get that money? That's a lot of money. Yes. I sold my condo. My God. Where do you live? I live now in uh, rent. I'm renting now. You sold your house? Yes. To put it into this? Yes. Because I believe in my product. Oh, you're committed, I'll tell you that. And I know that this product will conquer North America. You will see. It's already conquered. No, it's not. It's not. If you so, surf Aaron, the internet, can you I will just see. ask you a question? Yes. Have you gone to any other arm's length investors other than family and friends? Have you ever showed this to people like us before? No. Not so far. Well, maybe that was a mistake because I think independent investors will look at this and say they've seen it already, as one's already done. But 
You know, but, I, I, but, I'm just, I, let me ask you a bit more generic yes. question. How do you think it's going right now here in the Dragon's Den for you? So far, so good. <laughs> I, be, I believe that you guys will, will go for it. Aaron, okay. do you mind me asking how old you are? Are you retired? I'm 60, 66. So you're retired? Yes, now? I am. So your biggest investment was your house, right? Yes. And so you've sold that to do this. Yes. Do you feel that you have enough information to make a big decision yes, about I have. that? I think the conversation kind of stopped for us. Yes. At the 775,000 for 33 percent. Not okay. for me. No. It, it stopped when you said I need the money to build my first one yeah. with that valuation. <laughs> The problem with your deal is you're asking for $775,000. Yes. You have no sales. That makes no sense. Yeah, but if if you look at the future, the I have, future, I'm, the I'm the future only is dragon. Bright. Listen, Aaron, listen to me, all right? I'm listening. I have the ability to travel to the future. I've gone to the future. I don't see your garbage can there. No? Because you were never able to raise any so money So that for means it. you weren't in, in the future. You are in the present. I'm out. I was yesterday at the bank, and they said to me, once you finish with the dragons, come back, and then we can talk. See what you're going to get there, and if not... Aaron, that, that was a very, very polite way to say that they aren't going to do anything unless somebody else does, right? So... No, because I told them that I'm coming to see the dragons. Aaron, we got all that. Let's just take a, a, a quick inventory if there's any opportunity for you here. Okay. My guess is no, but we'll find out. Bruce, are you giving this man $775,000? No. Good. I've already said you're crazy, and I'm out. Arlene? No. I'm not crazy, sorry. I'm married. You're married. <laughs> oh, Aaron. <laughs> I like that, Aaron. What oh. about David? Yes or no? David is out. I am out, 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 out. OK. Your time is over. OK. Thank you very much. All right, OK. Did he say, I'm not crazy, I'm married? Yeah. No. That's what he said. <laughs> but it wasn't a complete waste of time. Others will never try that again. They'll never come in here asking for $775,000. For 33%.